How's it going everybody? A lot of you may have already seen my garden automation project, I had posted a video on it back in April of this year. I've made a couple small changes to the system since and added a feature or two as well. So let me give you a super quick summary of what it can do and then I have a little announcement at the end of the video that I want to make. I'll start with a feature that any legit garden automation system should have, which is notifications from Morgan Freeman when shit goes south. Water has been detected in the basement. So I've got a Raspberry Pi 4 running a program called Home Assistant, which is incredible software, and it talks to the devices in this control box I built over Wi-Fi. I have a tablet mounted to the control box that serves as my main user interface when I'm working on the system, but this same layout is also accessible from my desktop and phone. I get temperature and humidity data from my grow tent, and this data controls my exhaust fan and humidifier. I also get water temperature, pH, and EC readings from my nutrient reservoir, and this data drives some dosing pumps to maintain targets that I set in the UI. I also know how many liters of nutrient solution are in my reservoir by weighing it with a little DIY scale. One of the biggest gripes people had in my initial video was that I was measuring in pounds and converting to gallons rather than just going metric, but I've since switched over and it's much easier. So now if the scale reads 10 kilograms, that means there's 10 liters of solution in it. Super simple, right? I can calibrate my pH, EC, and weigh scale sensors on this page, as well as adjust my dosing pump speeds on the fly just to make sure that they're producing the volume that I'm asking them to give me. I've got control over a bunch of relays that drive a variety of different things like pumps, outlets and a power bar, solenoids, etc. And one of these relays drives my DIY magnetic stirring system that keeps my nutrients mixed. I can set targets for temperature and humidity, which will turn my humidifier on and off, as well as trigger different speeds on my tent exhaust fan based on what I set, and I can set all my measurements for dosing a fresh batch of nutrients as well by adjusting how big I want the batch to be in liters, and how many milliliters per liter I want for each nutrient that gets mixed in, which is currently CalMeg, Micro, Bloom, and Grow. I have manual on-off control of my pumps here, and I'm able to control my Wi-Fi smart plug for some different lights and the humidifier. I can also dim any grow light that has a dimmer circuit on it that will take a PWM input like a Meanwell XLG or HLG B type driver. And I've got PWM control over my exhaust fan that sits in the tent. My schedule tab keeps track of where I'm at in my grow, and this is where I tell my system how often to fertigate, what time each fertigation should happen, and how long to keep the pumps on for each event. I've also got my grow light scheduling in here. The last couple tabs show a couple system stats, and also let me control my automated grow light PPFD measuring CNC system. If you want a more detailed walkthrough of the system, you can click this little banner that's going to pop up now. So that's what the system currently does. Admittedly, it hasn't really changed a whole lot since I first started. I get a lot of questions about the system though, and I've been telling people that eventually I'm going to be sharing all my code, but I've really been dragging my feet on it, partly because I haven't had a lot of time between a full-time job and making other videos, and partly because I was a little bit anxious about putting myself out there since programming is very new for me. That being said, I've been putting in time whenever I can afford to over the past month and a bit to try to clean up all my code that I have running in my Arduinos, as well as the structure of all my messages that go back and forth between the control box and the Raspberry Pi running Home Assistant, and adding as many useful comments as I can. I'm happy to finally say that I've shared everything to my GitHub repo called Garden Automation, and encourage you to check it out if you're interested in doing something like this yourself. This is my first project that involves programming of any kind, and people who have experience will be able to tell when they read through the code, I'm sure. But rather than being self-conscious about it and keeping it squirreled away, I want to share it with everybody in case somebody finds it useful for their project. I initially wanted to avoid writing any code for this, but once I started, I discovered that it was super fun, so I ended up putting a lot of the system functionality into my Arduino files. So I've updated the GitHub repo for this project, and you'll find the link in the video description here. Inside the repo, you'll find a big ass PNG file called System Diagram. I did my best to draw this entire thing out right down to conductor level, just to provide a better understanding of how everything connects together. 
Don't even try to view this in GitHub's little preview window. Just view it with whatever program you normally use and be patient. It might seem like it won't load and it's all just going to be blurry, but when it all renders, you'll be able to see the pin numbers on the devices. I've also got a parts list with links to everything I could think of that's part of the system, and of course, the code running on my ESP32 and Mega in the control box, as well as all my Home Assistant and ESP Home YAML files. So check it out if you're interested, and let me know what you think in the comments, or if you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments as well, and I'll try to get to them all. Take care everybody, happy automating, happy growing, and please consider subbing to this channel if you're into this content and help me get more of it out on YouTube. Thanks, and see you on the next one.